Let's talk about lasting peace. C.S. Lewis said something that most people interpret wrong, they read wrong. Well, let's read it right. He said, God designed a human machine to run on himself. Now, most people think, well, that means that as an individual, I have the power. God designed the human machine to run on himself. But they're reading it wrong. Himself is capitalized. God designed the human machine to run on capital himself, to run on God. Now, it continues. God can't give us happiness and peace apart from himself, with a capital H. Because it is not there, there is no such thing, end of quote. Peace it can be a very scarce commodity in our demanding world that we face. All the pressures, the deadlines that may be upon you. Culture is overflowing with an astounding array of distractions, interruptions, temptations. How then can we find peace that we discover? By turning our days and our lives over to God. When we turn our lives over to God, th that's often a cliche that you hear every Sunday in a church. But it's not a Sunday thing. It's a moment-by-moment moment daily activity that a person needs to do so that they find themselves not distracted and not overwhelmed. Elizabeth Elliot wrote this, If my life is surrendered to God, all is well. Let me not grab it back as though it were in pearl in God's hands and would be safer in mine. End of quote. So often, people do grab back what they give to God. They give their prayer request to God, then they look around impatiently, tapping their foot, what's happening, what's happening, and they grab it back, saying, I can do this better than you, God. And then, ten minutes later, they send in the original prayer request. And then, when that is answered... Ten minutes after that, they send in another prayer request that is similar. They're grabbing back their problems. Are you willing to entrust your life totally to God? See, that is the key. Moment by moment trust. Will you build your life on a firm foundation of God's promises? Trust brick by trust brick. If so, you're going to experience the only peace that lasts, the only peace that can take the storms of life, the only peace that will give you a well-being at the depth of your soul, God's peace.